everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a good luck card using the 6x6 wiper card set and I'm going to be focusing on the lovely horse image there, he's just very very fun. So this is the paper pad as well, I'm using this one here and here is that 6x6 wiper die set and you've also got the happy birthday and we're also going to use these speech bubbles which are throughout all of the die sets as well. So. What you want to do is you want to die cut the main section here, so you'll want two pieces of that one and then I've got these here which are for your mats, so I've done four in the mirrored card but I've also then gone and trimmed on my trimmer two pieces, you can do four again if you want but I'm not going to decorate the back for the video but I've got two pieces here which are just half an inch by five by four and a half sorry and they're just going to sit, you can see there, on top and that's just going to continue the pattern onto the side pieces. Then this is that main front mat piece, so you want to die cut one, which again I've done in that holographic card, and then using the paper here I've cut this to five and a half squared, so it sits nicely on the top there. Also because I'm using the speech bubble, I want it to look like it's floating, so I've die cut my mechanism with some acetate. Again you do need to add some extra shims, you'll need to maybe use a metal shim, that is that piece done there using the mechanism and then there's the speech bubble but we're going to do a bit of stamping so I will do that in a bit. So I'm just going to run this one through my die machine and then we can start putting it all together. Okay so first of all we just want to fold and burnish these pieces here so you just want to do it so that the this inner score line is a mountain and then that outer score line is a valley. And do that on both and then we're just going to get one of them so you've got one with them on your left hand side and one with them on your right and they will stick together like this. Okay, so I'm going to show you another way to construct it all because throughout the videos I show you different ways to add that mechanism piece because, you know, I think between maybe the three or four different ways of doing it you'll find one that suits you best. So first of all I'm going to stick down, I always like to decorate any kind of kinetic cards, do as much of the decoration before you actually construct it. Okay, so that's everything stuck down there. Next, before we attach the mechanism, we want to stamp our sentiment. So on the stamp set here, we've got all these different kind of titles. So I want to have on this one, galloping by to say, good luck, which I think I have somewhere else. Here we are, and pop it all on there. But you've got why the long face there, you're not that old, stay cool. You've also got the and and hi and it's your birthday and happy birthday. So there's loads there to make up some really fun little sentences. A bit of scrap card here, but I don't need that much. Just make sure it's going to be enough for your speech bubble there. And then I'm just going to bring in some of my ink. Again, these are photopolymer stamps, so they grab your inks really well. And then just roughly, I can see where that needs to be. So I'm going to stick that one just there. Perfect. Galloping by to say good luck. And now I can just pop this one down here and just with a little bit of tape hold it in place. And I'm just going to run that through my die machine. So, okay, so that's cut out nicely there. And then I've got the mechanism piece. So what I would suggest is grab some double-sided tape. Red tape's really good. And you want the triangle towards the bottom left, okay? And you're going to just cover the triangle with some tape. I'm just sticking it right across on my mat here. Just a couple of strips of that. And then just peel it up from the surface there and just cut away. So you don't use your best scissors for that and you'll have more time so you'll be able to cut it exactly but you want it just covering the corner there of that triangle. Make sure it's down towards the bottom left, that that's the side that you're sticking. Okay, so I actually continued putting this together and realised my camcorder had stopped filming but fortunately I was able to take it apart. So you would have attached your glue or your red tape there to the bottom left hand corner of that triangle. So make sure you're sticking on the same side that the sentiment is facing up there. So I'm just going to take the backing off. Okay, now I'm working on that front piece and this is the top, so flip it over. Now you want to fold that back, okay, that piece, that triangle, and we're going to just lay it in here first of all so we can move it around. And you're going to make sure that the bottom of the mechanism, so the bottom of this acetate, is lined up with this second score line, okay, like so. And you want to make sure that 
however far down it is here is you know from from the top basically so it means that whatever it is you have on the top of your mechanism to pop up will be hidden so I mean you don't want to come too close to the top there because you might just still see it so I'm going to bring it down about half an inch there I'm happy with that where it is I'm just going to bring that across there like so and now there it is closed it will then pop up when it opens okay so next I can just add some glue for the second time onto these pieces here and I'm going to pop that one on this side so just pop it in place there make sure it all lines up with the outer side and the top and the bottom like so and then while that one's just drying I can just add some more glue along this piece here okay and just kind of Push that down, make sure you don't get any glue inside the card and just lay that whole thing down so you have a perfect six by six square there. You can see there now the pop-up piece is completely hidden and then when we open it up it pops up galloping by to say good luck and it will close nicely as well. I think it's such a fun card, really like this. So next we just need to decorate the front. So I have these pieces here which I've already stamped and coloured so I've done two of the four leaf clover I've done the lucky horseshoe the daisy and there is that really fun horse um, stamp there and I've coloured this all using coloured pencils again so I'm just going to start layering it all up I think I'm going to use again my foam because I do like to use that so we will stick him down first of all so I'm going to have him let's have him about there and then start building these up. I've already added some shine to them as well. I do like to add that to a lot of my um, stamped images. I just think it looks really nice. And the idea is, is that the daisy will cover the ends of the clovers here. So we'll pop that one there. And then pop the other bit of foam on that side. So I'll have that one there. I can just see there the daisy's going to cover that nicely and then I'm going to cut one of these in half and let's just have a look so I just want to have him kind of just poking out the side there so I'll just put foam on that side there and then on the other side I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue there so I can just kind of just pop that behind like so stick that one down there and then we just got to finish off with that daisy. So again, just pop a little bit of foam onto the back there. And then just pop that one over the like So, and you can add some other bits and pieces to it as well. If you want from your own stash, you might want to put some twine around it and things like that. But there is that card. I think it looks really cool. Love the shine there on the clovers. And then when you open it up, galloping by to say good luck. And it stands up really nicely there as well so that people can see your sentiment so that's that version using the 6x6 I've also got these ones here to show you so this one is using the funky flowers and it's got the happy birthday there that um, does also come in the die set and again I just added some shine to that you can just see it catching the light and I love this polka dot paper as well and then out pops this lovely bloom of flowers from the funky flowers stamp set and then I've also got fabulous flight here so I've used those lovely hot air balloons with that lovely cloud paper there in the background and then I've used glitter card on the happy birthday there and then this one you have the rocket you can just see there that pokes out the top which I really really like and then I've also got this one here again it's another favorite but it's using the lovely Jerry the giraffe and then it says you're not that old happy birthday you're not that old really really fun great cards so that is using the six by six I said.